Is it okay to honor a parent or family member who has passed away at your wedding? Are there any touching ways to address a deceased loved one? Is it possible to do something meaningful and memorable for your wedding guests? It's hard to lose a parent, especially before a wedding, when their absence can seem even more noticeable since you've always pictured them as an integral part of your day. Instead of dwelling on their absence, let us help. Listen now and discover Wedding Insider Secrets for a stress-free, fun, and memorable day. Our podcast helps engaged couples navigate wedding planning complexities while addressing family expectations. Get concise tips on budgeting, wedding party management, ceremony, reception planning, and more. Perfect for anyone planning a wedding all in 30 minutes or less. Trust us, you don't want to miss this. Welcome to Stress-Free Wedding Planning, the podcast that will transform your wedding planning journey from chaotic to enchanting. Sal and Sam bring over 80 years of combined wedding expertise and exclusive insider information to the table. If you're recently engaged, feeling the pressure of wedding planning, struggling with family expectations, but still dreaming of a joy-filled wedding, you've come to the right place. Get ready to unveil the best-kept wedding secrets, discover practical tips and strategies, and learn life-changing lessons for a stress-free wedding. Your unforgettable wedding day awaits. We're here to take you on a transformative journey of love, laughter, and memories. So don't miss out on the podcast that just might change your life. This is the Stress-Free Wedding Planning Podcast with Sal and Sam. Hi, I'm Sal of After Hours Events in New England. I've performed at thousands of weddings in my 40 years as a professional MC DJ. Weddings are my passion. Hi, I'm Sam from Atmosphere Productions. With decades of DJ experience dating back to the mid-70s, I've rocked the airwaves, pumped up nightclubs, and made thousands of weddings unforgettable. This is the Stress-Free Wedding Planning Podcast with Sal and Sam. Learn more about our experience and journey to help you with stress-free wedding planning in the trailer or pilot of this podcast. In today's edition, Wedding Memorial Ideas to Honor Loved Ones is brought to you in part by Clear Vision Productions and the Wedding Styles of Connecticut Wedding Shows. But first, if you have a question or concern, go now to Facebook and join us on the stress-free wedding planning community and ask away. You know, when you're at your wedding, you don't want to be stressing or obsessing about the absence of someone who's no longer with you. You should include reminders that will remind you about those special people, either be a parent or a grandparent, anything like that on your big day. Whether you work with a wedding planner or alone, there are a variety of ways to honor the loved ones at your wedding. And, you know, making a pit stop to the cemetery before the ceremony to kind of remember them. So they're kind of part of the big day with you. You know, have your photographer there maybe and take some pictures with you there at the site just so you have that remembrance and you're honoring them at the same time. That's a great point, Sal. One of the things you can do is to drop off a parent's boutonniere. So, you know, typically at the wedding, a parent would have a boutonniere. You would drop that off at the cemetery site as a remembrance is a great way to honor a loved one. It kind of brings them to be part of the event of that day. Another good thing to do is to have someone read something to remind everyone about that person who is missing, either be a grandparent, parent, or whomever. Maybe a passage, a scripture, something fictional, poetry, maybe even a tribute or a letter to them. That's right. During the reading at the ceremony, this can be an important aspect that you add to your ceremony. It's a great way to memorialize the loved one right during the ceremony when you have a reading. Now, placing a flower arrangement in your parents' honor at the altar is another great way of honoring a past parent or loved one at the altar or the place wherever you're going to do the ceremony. Have something there for them to honor them on that specific day. Sam, what I've also seen is, you know, where that person would have sat at the ceremony and they've actually had the flowers and even sometimes a candle representing that person so everyone remembers them. Yeah, you, you're right. A light of candle in their memory. You know, it's something that is done during the ceremony. And as you said, with the chair, obviously, if it's a parent, you want the parent's chair to be right up front. Or what I've seen is if it's a grandmother or, or somebody else, you have an empty chair with their picture right there. It's a great way to memorialize uh, a loved one. 
And another way to handle it, too, is at the ceremony, having the officiant mention the person who's no longer with us, uh, again, to honor them, having a moment of silence so everyone could take a moment just to remember that person. And then you move on from there. These little things that you could do to remember could be a parent, a grandparent, an aunt and uncle, could be anyone, really. We just explained some ways of honoring a past parent or relative, like going to a cemetery prior to the ceremony, reading a passage or letter during the ceremony, or placing a flower arrangement at the altar. Coming up next, we'll explain how you can have a memory table and how you can play a special song at the reception, plus other ideas of honoring a past parent or relative. This is the Stress-Free Wedding Planning Podcast with Sal and Sam, a podcast for engaged couples concerned about wedding planning and family expectations but who want to have a stress-free, fun, and unforgettable wedding. Wedding Tip Wednesday is brought to you by Emerge Cosmetics. Are you ready to emerge? Our line of lipsticks, lip glosses, and mascaras was created to empower and become who you truly are. Strong, beautiful, and confident. Use the coupon code SF1 at EmergeCosmetics.com for an instant 10% off. That's coupon code SF1 at EmergeCosmetics.com. Emerge is the true you. Hello and welcome to Wedding Tip Wednesday. We're going to talk about reading your contract, and I can't emphasize it enough. Read your contract. It's a simple tip, but most couples don't read and understand their vendor's contract. Understand the cancellation policy. Again, understand the cancellation policy. That is extremely important. How refunds will be handled if there are refunds that are actually given back. When to expect services before and after the wedding. There is no more important document, Sal, than the contract because it's there to protect the vendor and also the client. That's why both of you sign it. The contract is not there just to benefit the vendor. If you read the contracts completely, you'll find out that it does benefit you in some respects. In fact, go back to it, you know, six months before just to see what else you need to do. Maybe there are additional payments that need to be done. And that's another tip from Sal and Sam. Wedding Tip Wednesday is available on the Stress-Free Wedding Planning Facebook group page every Wednesday. Join the group for free. Are you ready to take your wedding business to the next level? Do you feel your marketing plan needs help? Then say, I do, to the clearvisionagency.com for improved online visibility and more bookings. Make your wedding business sparkle and get ready to see real results. The Clear Vision Agency can create a picture-perfect online presence for your wedding business with our SEO, social media management, content, and digital advertising programs. TheClearVisionAgency.com. Call us today to claim your free digital audit and let's see how your business stacks up against the competition. Go to TheClearVisionAgency.com. Hi, I'm Harry Ofori from Harry's Party Rentals. Our elegant and stylish event rentals will transform any venue into your unique style. Harry's Party Rentals offers tables, chairs, linens, decor, centerpieces, backdrop, outdoor rentals, and more that will leave a lasting impression on you and your guests. Harry's Party Rentals, where wedding dreams come true. Visit my website, harryspartyrentals.net. That's HarrisPartyRentals.net. Hi, I'm Samantha. I'm getting married next October, and I listen every week to the Stress Free Wedding Planning Podcast with Sal and Sam. You can listen and download online from iTunes, Spotify, or wherever you get your podcasts. Don't know what to do for your first dance? Is your future spouse having trouble picking a song to dance with their parent? Worry no more. I have the answer. Go to AfterHoursEventsOfNE.com forward slash contact guest. That is C-O-N-T-A-C-T-G-U-E-S-T. And you'll be able to listen to hours of music to help you select the right songs for your upcoming wedding. Again, go to AfterHoursEventsOfNE.com forward slash contact guest. And now back to the Stress-Free Wedding Planning Podcast. Welcome back to our discussion about wedding memorial ideas to honor your loved ones. Hi, I'm Sam from Atmosphere Productions, wedding entertainment with expert knowledge and the difference in quality. Hi, I'm Sal from After Hours Events New England, the leader in making your wedding stress-free. We've already discussed some things that we can do to honor a loved one before and during the ceremony. Now let's talk about ideas that will memorialize your loved one. Make a design of a beautiful bouquet charm with a picture of the parent. Isn't that great? Having your parent walking down with you, you know, they're not there, but they are there in spirit. 
Yes, of course, doing something like that is universal. You can bring that charm with you and it, you don't have to tell anybody. It can be your little secret of having your parent or loved one walk down with you. Now, another one that can be used is a special shoe clip that will allow you to put a parent's picture in it that you can clip to your shoe and walk down the aisle for the ceremony or the reception. So again, that you can be with them. These ideas are universal, whether you're man or woman, male or female, you can use these ideas to help you honor past parent or relative. You know, another thing we could do, Sam, is have a memory table. Set up like a high top table that has a picture of the person who's no longer with us. You know, you could have something that says reserved and who it's for, and they're watching from heaven. All how you want to word it. What's It works for you, obviously, because sometimes not everyone's very religious. So you might want to term it in a different way. Yeah, a memory table is something that you would set up at the reception, and you can have it in the corner or next to the bar or next to your sweetheart table or head table. It is really a nice way of honoring with a personalized sign. That's one of my favorite ideas anyway, is the memory table. Moving on to another idea that's very similar is a favorite number. Numerology has become very popular. So if your parent or even you have a favorite number that you'd like to put in a picture frame, put on that memory table or on a chair or some designated location, I think this will show that you're really thinking about that particular person. Have you seen that, Sal? I have. It's amazing all these different ideas that come through that you haven't seen before. That's definitely the newest thing I've seen. Now, they don't have to be gamblers for you to pick a number. We're not saying that they have a favorite number for gambling. Some people have numbers that they love or colors. You know, my favorite color is red. I hope to have something red at my uh, farewell party. I notice I said party and not a, a wake or anything because after I'm gone, I want people to party like it's 1999. Anyway, celebration of life. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, absolutely agree. Yeah, it doesn't have to be anything to do with gambling. There's sometimes people are known for liking a certain thing, and color is usually a big deal because sometimes they dressed a certain way with a certain color. That was their favorite, and that's what they're known by. Or they always brought up their favorite number for some odd reason. It's what represents them. So, another thing that can be done is having your DJ or your band play a meaningful song that was for the two of you, something that you both shared through the years that can bring that little memory to the wedding. Yeah, it's a great idea. There's loads of songs that you probably know that remind you of a parent or a loved one at the reception. You make it a dedication. I've done that loads of times at weddings. It really does work. And speaking of at the reception, you can also have a toast or a speech about this person. You obviously don't want to make it a downer. So, and, and by that, I mean, you don't want to have a long speech talking about this person that passed away, you know, it's going to bring people to tears, but you can just make a mention, or as we said before, in the first half, reading something at the ceremony, you might want to read something at the reception. It really is up to you, but having a toast or a speech, or at least just talk about that special person is very important. In lieu of having maybe like a father-daughter dance or a mother-son dance, depending who's the person that's missing, it could be a dance that you have with your grandfather or your grandmother, a brother, a sister, an aunt, an uncle, or even a best friend, just to kind of have that in place at the wedding. And it could be that great song that you both shared while they were around and that you just dance with that person just to remember them one more time. Yeah, I've seen that numerous times at weddings that I've done, especially a dance with a brother. That is really heartwarming when you see that or an uncle, uh, you know, walks the bride down the aisle and then the uncle has that special father-daughter dance. It is very touching and it brings the memory of that past loved one. Another one, I haven't seen this, but I've heard about it, is attaching a small container with the ashes of the parent or loved one tied with a, a scarf or onto a bouquet with a special message. And that message can say, you know, I'm here with you in spirit and love or on this special day, know that I'm walking beside you as always. Whatever message that you can come up, those are just two that we picked at, at random. If that's something that you want to do. These are not for everybody, remember. We just want to give you different ideas on how you can honor your loved ones. 
And in lieu of giveaways, many times you're at a wedding where they have these little special trinkets that they give to every one of their guests. I've actually had couples a number of times in memory of the person who is no longer with us donating to their special charity instead of doing these little pieces that could cost a whole lot. And now it's going towards something really good and something that that parent or grandparent really felt strongly about and just kind of honoring them one more time. So there you have it. We just shared with you wedding memorial ideas to honor loved ones, which included having a memorial table, mention your loved one in the ceremony, in the program maybe, and at the reception. We especially liked having a DJ play a song at the reception that was meaningful to you and your loved one. This is the Stress-Free Wedding Planning Podcast with Sal and Sam. Now, as you spend the next week planning your wedding, if you want me, Sam, or our community of stress-free, engaged couples and wedding experts to answer any wedding-related questions, join us over in the Stress-Free Wedding Planning Facebook group. Once you're in, go ahead and share your concerns and worries, and we'll let you know if you're on the right track or if there's something we need to work on. The link to join us is in the show notes of this edition or... Go to Facebook and search for the Stress-Free Wedding Planning Community. A new edition is released every Wednesday. Subscribe and get it first. Remember to do something nice for someone today. And if you can't, do something nice for yourself. We'll catch you then. Ciao. Thank you for listening to this edition. If you've enjoyed what you've just heard, leave a review and share it with a friend or someone who would benefit from this information. Until next time, it's TTFN. Ta-ta for now. The Stress-Free Wedding Planning Podcast is produced and copyrighted by Atmosphere Productions in association with After Hours Events of New England. Sponsored in part by Clear Vision Productions and the Wedding Styles of Connecticut Wedding Show Series.